Zodiac signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. So today we're going to take a look at and see why did your person ghost you? Okay, why did they suddenly pull away? Um, you know, what is it that you might need to know? Will they be coming back into the picture? As always, guys, this is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. deck you have the eight of pentacles so if you are going through a no contact no communication period if your person did ghost you i do see in the future that you're going to be working uh working some things out okay so you could be trying to work on uh bettering yourselves for the sake of this relationship um, or even for the sake of you know um your own energies here you could be potentially trying to work through and uh, work through and towards a resolution. So because this is like the fix it and repair it um, card out of the tarot deck, it also could imply that your person may be wanting to fix this. So, if, you know, if they've done, if they've gone ghost on you, if they've gone casp on you, if they've pulled a ghosting episode, they it's very likely that in the future you might hear from them again and they'll want to try and fix things and make things right. I can see that their lack of communication or the fact that they've suddenly pulled away is causing you a lot of anxiety here, okay? It's definitely bothering you um, and I feel like your friends or connecting energies are aware of that and even though you might not like to, you might not like to show it here, you can definitely, you know, it's on your mind here. You're someone who's governed by mental energy here, okay? And you guys, uh, you like to intellectualize. Things. You like to be able to understand the th thought process, the mechanism here behind why, you know, what people do, what they do behind uh, the motivations of someone's behavior. So I can see that it's driving you crazy, the fact that you don't have all the answers you need. And because they didn't give you the answers, here you are, you potentially could be constructing stories. Let me tell you, it's not you, it's them. Again, it's not you, it's them. The fact that this person has ghosted has very little to do with you and everything to do with with them now this is someone who i feel like is with their current state of uh emotions and their current energy state i feel like your person is very undecided okay they're coming up across as a very indecisive kind of energy a lot of confusion in their energy as well they are not sure okay there is a very strong romantic energy that's present in this connection so they could love you they could see themselves falling in love with you but it feels like they are not 100% sure on you. It also feels like they want to love you, but they're scared to let themselves love you. Okay, they, It feels like they want to fall in love with you, so they might be on the way to falling in love with you, but they're not able to fully open themselves up to you here because they're, you know, they're scared to open themselves up to you. They're scared to fall in love with you. Maybe they've loved and hurt before. Maybe they've never loved anyone before. And this is scary and it's unfamiliar territory to them. But it does feel like there's a lot of anxiety here that is present in your person's energy and a lot of emotional confusion and a lot of uncertainty here. Your person is 100% sure on what it is that they want. It's not that they're 100% unsure about you or the situation specifically it just feels like they're a little aimless the energy is a little scattered here so they do look a part of them does want you but i feel like there's another part that it's like they're at war with their head and their heart okay and their heart wants you but their head is saying think about it think about things logically here and this is where i feel like there's a war waging on because there's such a polarity to the to the moon's card um, a very strong dual and energy and this is why you feel this is what you probably can pick up on mixed messages from your person right some days they're very forward they're very full-on they come across as you know very um, they're always communicating you know they're always there and then the next the next time here they pull away or they suddenly go very cold or just distant and you wonder whether it's something you've said or you've done to make them feel this way it's it's not you it, it's just that there's a lot of duality in their energy there could also be someone who is um 
a dual sign here so like a I feel like, like a Gemini here or a Pisces here so there, there could be some dual, dualism here within their nature there is a very strong presence of attraction you know love even lust they may love you they could see themselves falling in love with you but there is a fear that stops them it, it, it keeps them immobilized your person here, I feel like your person is struggling to communicate, especially when it comes to their emotions, because I feel like they feel emotions so deeply that they struggle to understand what those emotions are. They internalize their emotions, so they have a lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but they do have concerns, their doubts, their reservations about the connection or the future of this connection, but I don't see them voicing, I don't see them voicing these doubts reservations or concerns to you they may sometimes just casually say it in a sentence or just casually blurt it out to you but i don't see them sitting down and saying hey this is what you know we need to work on or hey you know this is what's bothering me because i feel like your person is doesn't know how to process their emotions and they're keeping it bottled up inside and this is why they tend to go ghost on you this is why they you know you go days without hearing from your individual because there's so much going on with their emotions that they don't know what they're feeling they're not able to identify with those emotions and they pull away okay they draw within themselves to figure things out here i do see this person coming back okay i do feel like this person is going to lean back towards you and lean back into this relationship but i just feel like right now they need to sort out some of some of their emotions once they sort out some of the emotions I see them then having a little bit more clarity, a little bit more energy here to come forward. They are stubborn, so I don't know if you keep communicating with them. I don't know that that's going to do much. I think if anything, it's probably going to want to make them stay silent or ignore you. It just feels like they're a very stubborn energy. They could also be purposely trying to keep quiet here because I'm getting retaliation here, maybe for something that you've said. Um, or maybe they know that their silence drives you mad, drives you crazy. Therefore, they want to, you know, achieve a certain outcome here. They want to get you upset. They want to get you emotionally um, upset, concerned, or thinking about them here. They're stubborn. As they're, very, they're very stubborn. They're just extremely stubborn here. Um, and I feel like you can't talk sense into them, not when they're in this really stubborn kind of energy. So I think you have to sort of let it let them sort of ride it out here they'll, they'll come back in and they'll communicate with you um, but i do feel like there's it's this behavior feels like it's cyclical right it feels like when you guys when it's good it's great but when you guys you know when it's not so good it, it's it, it's not so good at all it just feels like there's this cyclical kind of pattern or nature to this connection okay and it just feels like when emotions really overcome or overwhelm them instead of communicating or dealing with it they kind of pull away and withdraw into themselves and they're also stubborn to confront those emotions or deal with them which is why i feel like they may um go you know ghost mode on you or just disappear here with the king of swords energy i also feel like that your person here is someone who i see them lashing out okay because of the the way that they suppress their emotions they then lash out at you or at other people here as well. Um, and by lashing out, I mean like this is someone who can be very bitter or who can be very spiteful. They can be very, can be very manipulative as well, very conniving here. Someone who I feel like is, they'll weaponize their words. So they'll be very selective about the words that they say because, you know, they know, oh, they, they say things that will hurt you or you know they'll stay silent because they want to leverage some results there it feels like their silence can at times and is at times is strategic here so your person needs to work on some things because i don't know how much longer you're going to tolerate this because i feel like you've been here before it's not the first time or if you haven't i feel like you'll you'll, you'll arrive at this particular point with your person before so that there's some sort of behavioral or emotional patterns your person needs to take a closer look or perhaps the relationship is suffering from you know this cyclical emotional behavioral patterns here 
Okay guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel.